Welcome. In this module, we'll focus on the foundation of all assessments, objectives. Because objectives serve as the heart of any assessment, it's critical that you take time to review, revisit, revise, and reinvent any learning goals that you would like your learners to achieve before developing or selecting the assessment tool. Objectives identify the skill or knowledge that you want your students to master and demonstrate by the end of a lesson, module, or course. Course objectives are broader in scope, pinpointing wide sweeping skills and knowledge that are developed throughout an entire course. They encompass multiple module or lesson objectives, which are smaller, more discrete learning pieces that align with and build up to the broader course objectives. While there are many required resources to review during this module, I also encourage you to explore the recommended resources. These are tools and articles that I have vetted and although they didn't make the first cut for required reading, they are still very valuable and useful to your completion of the stated module objectives. If you are struggling in any way, need more direction, or would just like to learn more, please check out those recommended resources. As you may be aware, each module in this course focuses on a particular element associated with educational assessment and evaluation. In order to facilitate class discussions that would normally take place in a traditional face-to-face -face classroom, I have created a discussion board for each module. These discussion boards may have specific questions, related scenarios, or be entirely open-ended. The goal is for you to have the opportunity to share with your peers what you're cogitating on during the module. Perhaps you read something with which you disagree or are confused. You may locate additional resources not provided in the course that you think would benefit your classmates or even me, your instructor. Or you might seek advice from your colleagues. Ultimately, you should demonstrate your ability to think critically and support learning through these regular conversations. There are a total of nine module focused discussion boards throughout the course. Each one is labeled as option in the schedule as well as the module agendas. While there are only while you are only required to respond to five of the nine, you are encouraged to participate every week in those discussions. If you do effectively respond to all nine discussion boards, you will earn 3% extra credit towards your final semester grade. As always, before posting, be sure to review the discussion board rubric posted within the assignment sheet in order to fully understand and meet the expectations for the module based discussion board assignments. You may be wondering how long your post should be or how many times you should post or respond to your classmates, but as graduate students, I expect you to move beyond word counts and a certain number of posts and towards critical thinking. Use the rubric in the assignment sheet to help guide your responses. This module, you will also create the first element or segment of your portfolio, your course and module objectives. Even though this is a draft that you are submitting, you should complete the entire assignment. That is, you should include in your draft at least five course objectives with two associated module objectives for each course objective for a total of 15 objectives. Read the assignment sheet for details regarding this foundational assessment. Do take some time to generate your objectives. Although some revisions can be made as you continue to build your portfolio, and they should be made in fact, the more work that you do now, the more effort you put into these foundational pieces, the better your end product will be. Remember, if you have any questions at all or even suggestions, you can also post those to the FAQ in the discussions button. Have a great week.